To make pumpkin puree, you'll need a sugar pumpkin, sometimes called a pie pumpkin. These are smaller than the bigger carving pumpkins. This one is two pounds. Two pounds of pumpkin yields about one and a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. So for the amount of pumpkin you would get in a can of pumpkin, you would need about four pounds of pumpkin, in this case, two pumpkins. Place your pumpkin on a stable cutting surface, carefully cut in half vertically, cutting down from the top at the stem to the bottom without cutting through the stem. The stem is too hard to cut through and it's not necessary to do so. Rotate the pumpkin and make a cut on the other side so you have two halves. Now it's time to remove the seeds and the pulp, the stringy pulp. It can be a bit of a challenge, just do your best. It's okay if you don't get everything. If you use kitchen scissors, you can cut some of the strands of pulp, making it easier to scoop out the pulp and the seeds. Now don't throw away those seeds. They make a delicious, healthy snack roasted with a sprinkle of sea salt. On a parchment lined tray, place your pumpkin halves cut side down. Bake in a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 35 minutes or until fork tender. Here I'm checking it with a butter knife and it's soft and cooked perfectly. Let it cool off about 10 minutes or so until you're able to handle it. And then just peel the pumpkin or flip over and scoop out the flesh. With this pumpkin, the skin separated from the flesh perfectly and came right off so easily. Place the pumpkin in a food processor. Pulse and then process until you have a smooth puree. If your pumpkin puree turns out to be a little too watery like this, then it's not thick enough for a lot of applications, especially things like pumpkin pie or pumpkin bread. You can drain out the excess moisture from your puree easily. Place a few layers of cheesecloth over a mesh strainer, resting on a container, large measuring cup or bowl, so it sits comfortably and is high enough up to let the water drain out. Stir the pumpkin puree around, gently pushing it into the cheesecloth, you can lift up the cheesecloth and shake down a bit too. This process can take a few minutes. Use the liquid that drains from the puree in smoothies or soups. Keep in mind, if you're making a soup with your pumpkin puree, you don't need to go through this straining process. Just use as is since you'd be adding liquid to your soup anyway. Another way you can eliminate moisture is to cook it in a pan over a low heat on the stove, stirring continuously so the excess liquid can evaporate, leaving you with a nice creamy thick puree ready for all your favorite recipes. And speaking of favorite recipes, here's one and more will be posted soon.